STEM, science, engineering, technology, and math. And this set is going to be the evolution of STEM, featuring an open book, iconic minifigures with very reputable people from our community, and of course, micro builds of some of the most evolutionary things in all of STEM. In today's video, we're going to be taking a deep dive and review of this new LEGO Ideas set. This new $80 March 1st LEGO idea set is a little bit untraditional because it started off as a challenge. Yup, it was a challenge from the LEGO Ideas program and competition to be chosen to be a first ever STEM LEGO set. And all justice served, this set is packs a punch. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a deep dive, full review, as well as my final thoughts. What's up, everybody? I'm your host here, Christo from Said City, and let's jump straight on into it. In this LEGO set, we are going to get three minifigures. The first one here is, for the first time ever, going to be Sir Isaac Newton, famous for his Law of Universal Gravitation. The next minifigure here is going to be Mary Curie, the first president ever to win two Nobel Prizes. And then lastly, a pioneering agricultural scientist is George Washington Carver. This LEGO set features a ton of micro builds to make this open book with many stories inside of it. The, one of the cool play features is a knob here in the back that allows you to rotate this DNA strand that has a really cool Voyager 1 probe, the NASA space shuttle, and of course one of our insects alongside the rotating DNA ad as well as the atom here that wrote moves up and down. That is pretty sweet and a very great usage of parts with some technical abilities. We do have a brick built version of an apple tree with red apples hanging from it, which falls into place of Isaac Newton's apple tree. The apple tree also is allegedly inspired by Sir Isaac Newton's theory of gravity. The apple tree discovered here by Sir Isaac Newton inspired him for the theory of gravity. Now estimated to be over 400 years old, it still thrives at the scientist's family home in Lincolnshire, England. Behind that, in front of it, is a small little road with what we can see, a new engineering way of one of the first in standard cars. Yes, reinventing the wheel. Pretty awesome for a STEM class and a very great diagram of a early bird Lego car. The early 1900s car models became a precursor to a more globalized world and the age of combustion and propelled travel. When building the frame for the book, we get this diagram here that includes a secret message that says, can you depict this Morse code? Now, three dots is for the letter S, one dash is letter T, one dot is for letter E, and two dashes is M, standing for STEM. Oh yes, I crack the Morse code. The little garden over here is designated for George Washington Carver, as he's credited with inventing over 325 uses of peanuts, 108 applications for sweet potatoes, and hundreds more for soybeans and pecans. Behind our garden, we also have what looks to be what I would say a mini New York City. Kind of looks like an Empire State Building, maybe a Statue of Liberty, a bus going around, and even a plane flying around the beautiful city. As we previously demonstrated earlier here, the 3D replica of the carbon atom goes up and down. Now, in this case, the atom, which all life on Earth is based, contains six neutrons, six protons, and six electrons. This large sticker element here is considered the golden ratio. In Greek, it is and often referred to as the most beautiful number in the universe. It's derived from the Fibonacci numbers and is visible almost everywhere in nature from construction of cells to the orbit of planets. Now, unfortunately, this is a sticker element, but I think still gets the job done. We also get a nice lab here that depicts many of the resourceful tools needed for, of course, all the different STEM process it. We also get a rotatable piece of equipment here that I think is depicting for prosthetics. As we move up the DNA tower, there is a depiction here, and this is actually the NASA Voyager 1 probe. It's the farthest human-made object from Earth and the first spacecraft to reach interstellar space. 
the golden records above the Voyager probes feature audio greetings from Earth in 55 languages, as well as a selection of music and sounds of nature. An extremely notable build here is going to be this rocket ship. The space shuttle celebrates humankind's pioneering spirit to explore not just our own world, but the entire universe, and marks incredible achievements and discoveries with manned spaceflight. Another build included in this diagram here is considered the Humble Bumblebee, which is labeled as a vital for maintaining a healthy global ecosystem and biodiversity. But holy heck does this Lego set pack a punch from the aspects of learning so much. I feel like I learned so much piecing together this Lego set and wow did it offer something unique. I know this doesn't relate and correlate totally, but I'm actually in the middle of reading a book by Isaac Walterson. Uh, Walter Isaacson, for those of you who don't know, is a famous author who does biographies. Now, the book I'm reading is on Elon Musk, and it just shows the progression we've taken from you know human standpoint, um, getting away from NASA and going into private equity and uh, private private um, space exploration, and pushing entrepreneurship to the limit in the search for many different things from solar to uh, rocket ships to colonization on Mars, right? Um, but a very interesting book, not to, you know, promote Elon Musk or anything like that, uh, but I do find a lot of my aspirations here from him pushing to the boundaries. And I think this Lego set does something very similar. It definitely pushes Lego to the boundaries in so many unique ways. Um, I really didn't think of Lego as this tool or toy even to build something with so much passion so much learning this truly is one of the coolest lego sets i've seen in a very long time so to get to be able to build it here early and review it on the channel hopefully you guys stuck around and learned a thing or two um and you probably already knew that because i guess i don't know much but um i hopefully you guys learned a little bit as much as i did because this was just super fascinating but again a massive thank you to lego for gifting over this set for review i think this set is going to be awesome for one of my friends um, who is a teacher so i think i'm going to go ahead and re-gift this set to them um, as i've already have my joy here so i'll probably break it down and allow them to build it and find the uh the inspiration while they'll visit it because this is just such a cool set and i really do want to share it so hopefully you found this video entertaining informative and of course insightful so let me know what you guys think it does release on march 1st for a price tag of 80 dollars and truthfully for the exclusive minifigures that you get in it the unique build all the story all the lore and just a chance to learn i think 80 dollars is kind of a small price point for truly what's in a set like this anyways that's going to wrap up today's video. Let me know what you guys think of LEGO Ideas number 63, The Evolution of STEM. And as always, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm Christo from Stud City. Love you guys. Peace out.